Since we realized that Earth might not be the only place where life thrives, we have been tirelessly chasing evidence of extraterrestrial life. The consequence of this urgency has been the creation of advanced equipment such as the Perseverance rover on Mars, the Hubble Space Telescope and, of course, the jewel in the crown, the James Space Telescope. Since its launch, the James Webb has embarked on a constant mission to explore outer space in all directions and search for any evidence that suggests the existence of life beyond our planet. From tracking biosignatures to gazing at the most distant galaxy cluster ever seen, James Webb is relentlessly discovering the new. In its early days, the Webb telescope has recently revealed that rocky alien worlds likely harbor abundant amounts of water, even before their formation. Now, let me explain why this is of great relevance and what implications it has for the continued search for extraterrestrial life. As we all know, water is an essential source to support life. On Earth, scientists apply similar logic to search for life in the universe. This has triggered the search for exoplanets that are in the habitable zone and contain a certain amount of water. However, many scientists continue to debate how water could have reached the Earth's surface. According to previous research, it is believed that Earth received much of its water from water-bearing asteroids that bombarded our planet's surface during its formation. Now, scientists have discovered evidence that suggests water must have been one of the components available at birth that came together to form a rocky planet. Recently, researchers have focused on a young star called PDS-70, which is located almost 370 light-years from Earth and is about 5.4 million years old. Compared to the approximately 4.6 billion years of our own star, the Sun. Using James Webb's infrared instrument, scientists have discovered water in the form of hot vapor at about 625 degrees Fahrenheit, near the center of the disk of gas and dust surrounding the star PDS-70. The study's lead author and astrophysicist, Luvia Porat, mentioned that this discovery demonstrates that water is present in the inner disk of this iconic system, where Earth-like planets could be forming. This finding is of great importance, since in our solar system, these central areas where various rocky planets emerged, including our own home, Earth, offer us the opportunity to trace the formation process of the planets in our system and understand their chemical composition prior to its creation. The latest findings suggest that any terrestrial planet generated in the central region of PDS-70 would contain a substantial amount of water and could ultimately become potentially habitable. Regarding the origin of the water in PDS-70, the researchers propose two possible scenarios. One explanation suggests that the water present in PDS-70 could have originated in a water-rich nebula that gave rise to the star. The other possibility is that the outer reaches of PDS-70 could have been permeated by oxygen and hydrogen gases, which then merged to give rise to water vapor. If you think that this is an isolated case where James Webb hinted at the possibility of extraterrestrial life, you are completely wrong. Let me take you through one of the most fascinating recent incidents. Astronomers using the James Space Telescope have discovered evidence of similar complex organic molecules in a distant galaxy. This is the oldest known sample of complex organic molecules in the universe found by humans. What it has achieved is that it has advanced the previous record for detections like this by about a billion years. I don't know about you, but it's both fascinating and terrifying to me that these discoveries at the edges of the universe are changing the foundations of our cosmology. This is a powerful discovery, and here's what changes. First things first, chemicals have been detected within an early galaxy that formed when the universe was about 10% of its current age. Carbon-based molecules, technically known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are found in oil and coal deposits on Earth, as well as in smoke. But what is the importance of this finding? Justin, the lead astronomer on the study, 
makes it clear that the molecules we find are not simple things like water or carbon dioxide. We're talking about large, flexible molecules with dozens or hundreds of atoms in them. It is not surprising that the universe can create really large, complex molecules very quickly after the Big Bang, when our models suggest they could not have done so given the great distance of the galaxy. The light that astronomers detected began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. The universe is currently about 13.8 billion years old. We're looking at the beginning of the formation of the universe as we see it today, but here's the key, it's thanks to the Webb telescope that we've been able to detect these complex organic molecules, surpassing the previous record for detections like this by about a billion years. Additional. Imagine if we could look even further back in time. It is possible that we will find more of these molecules and also very close to the Big Bang. Where does that leave our science, our cosmological model? What's especially intriguing is the contrast between previous efforts to identify complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies and the new level of detail that the James Webb Space Telescope is providing. Previously, scientists could determine in a general way whether these substances were present or not in those distant galaxies. However, with Webb's resolving power, we are witnessing a remarkable advance, as we are now able to delve into the intricate details of the exact location of these molecules within a galaxy. Turning our attention to an early galaxy designated DSFG 850.95, an additional mystery arises. We cannot ignore that the distribution of these complex organic molecules in this galaxy is not homogeneous, but rather presents peculiar patterns. The reasons behind this variability still require further explanation and analysis by scientists. This complexity adds a new level of questions about the chemical and physical processes that influence the formation and distribution of these molecules in the early stages of the universe. This discovery not only opens new perspectives on galaxy formation in the early stages of the cosmos, but also raises exciting questions about the abundance of materials essential for life in these remote environments. What was once considered a period of relatively little activity in terms of galactic formation is now presented as a crucial moment where galaxies were already taking shape and content. It is even more surprising that this early galaxy, despite its youth in cosmological terms, already exhibits comparable magnitude and richness in elements such as carbon and oxygen compared to our own much older Milky Way. The relationship between its mass and the formation of chemical elements is an intriguing testament to the evolutionary processes and fundamental forces at work in the early universe. As humanity continues its exploration of the unknown, supported by increasing knowledge and an unwavering desire to understand the cosmos, we find ourselves inevitably humbled by the immensity and complexity of the universe. With each step forward, our understanding sharpens and we get a little closer to unraveling the secrets that are carefully hidden among the stars. The wonder of how the James Webb Space Telescope is playing its part leads us to firmly believe that the universe is about to reveal itself in a new light, in a perpetual dance of discovery and wonder. Now I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this fascinating scientific advance.